Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new West Brand Studios talk podcast. Holy I'm Yaki. I am Tell the Tubbies. Brand new West Brand Studios podcast. I am here with the Vapor Dan, Bat Josh, Hello. and maybe Hidaki and Wicker if they decide to arrive. This episode, we are talking about life goals. Um, I do have a question I presented to you guys on the left here, basically asking you what your life goals are, so you can answer that in the comments. In addition, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you haven't, we only have about 7% who actually watch our videos that are subscribed, which is really odd. Um, if you are subscribed, please consider clicking the bell notification to get notifications for future videos. I am working on Dracula Tech, and I can assure you I will try to do my best to do it, release it on October 31st, Halloween. In addition, feel free to like and share the video if you enjoy the video. Please share it with your friends on Twitter, on whatever platform you want to, and let's get into it. So, first question yeah. is, what are your life goals, and which one of you want to go first? Damn. <laughs> Wait, why am I going first? Because I said so. Or Josh volunteered you, apparently. Do you want to go first, mm -hmm. or just help Josh? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... Kind of like every other person who does YouTube and shit, like, the dream is fucking pulling a victory out of our asses by doing hard work and, you know, putting our nose to the grindstone and ending up having a, not, I don't, I'm not trying to shoot for like, old mega superstar status on YouTube and shit, but It'd be nice to have it. Just slam Jake Paul into the swimming pool. Nah, 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 nah. That was a conversation we had. <laughs> I, I, like, my whole goal would be to... It, big enough that I could sustain myself, but small enough that it doesn't completely destroy my life. Uh, primarily, I was asked, but primarily the idea of the goals question is, like... For example, how Josh does engravings, I do animation. Do you have something in, like, similar aspect that you want to improve or achieve by the time oh. you're oh. through with your career life? Honestly, to be real with you, like, one of the things that I'd like to do more with my life is just, like, go experience the world, you know? Like, the furthest I've traveled is maybe florida and i barely remember that because i was super little like i was seven when we did that and i just i'd like to go explore either like the u.s or like even go across seas and just like have experiences instead of just like what'd you do for most of your life and i'm like honestly man i stay in the same town for 40 years busted ass out of job got a house it's like you do anything fun with your life and i'm like dude honestly i just decided that it wasn't worth it like i don't want that to be me i want to be like yeah when i was fucking 23 i went to japan and fucking saw like the godzilla theater and that type of shit like i would like to have a bit of weight behind me and i'd like to have like fun you know like stories to tell instead of just being you know the generic dude I'd like to actually have a bit of, I don't know, Just being your 80s, like weight. telling ch your grandchildren about your life and all these interesting stories and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, like when I actually have time or when I, when I get to the stage where it's my turn to tell people about like how it was, it's not just, oh yeah, I sat on my ass and just did Twitch and worked a job and you know fucking there was no such thing as fun it was literally work sleep personal work sleep like i would rather be like oh yeah me and my buddies finally saved up enough money and we went to japan and we also like 
we went to a couple like you know these really cool conventions and met some really cool people and made like the actual connections and so like i'd like my life to be filled with experiences instead of progress i'd rather have a hundred adventures and be broke as shit than hella rich and never do anything with my life i see sounds like half my family jesus <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> Seems really person to us. Okay. <clears throat> uh, no, it just to me, I feel like experiences would be yeah. Like experiences <laughs> would be me being like filthy rich, because like I could be filthy rich and do nothing with my life, and I'd be fucking bored as hell. But if I go do shit, and you know, maybe I'm not the richest guy in the world fucking at least i knew i did something and i actually enjoyed my life all right so do you have something just oh i just stood up. uh what <laughs> can you please repeat the question what are your life goals um talk shit get hit wait no that's something else um Alright. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm on the spot. Um, alright. What would be nice is to be in a nice little house with people I know and care about. And the bread boy group, gamer house, there we are. That's, that's what I was trying to say. Just chill, make videos, do Twitch. What right the back. fuck is that picture? I'm not gonna ask, actually. That can wait five minutes. It would just be nice to exist. It's a, okay, your goal is almost the opposite of dance. Just yeah, I don't mind if I get... I'm I mean, sure it would be nice to go around. Visit around a bit. But... So you're the polar opposite of Dan when it comes to life. Not the polar opposite. Dan feels it's nice to be doing like Twitch and YouTube, obviously, because those are his hobbies. But generally, he want his goal is to travel the world, whereas you think it's nice to travel the world, but you want to primarily do the Twitch and YouTube yeah. and engraving stuff. So that is pretty much the opposite, right? I, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't really mind how big I get. Um, don't take that out of context. I, I just. It's crazy. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so Thank you for watching Josh's tech talk, or uh, TED talk. All right. What's the next? Question? Was that seriously? Okay, then we went a giant run for the first question, and mine was like two, not even two minutes. <laughs> Dan, are you still here? He said he was gonna do something. Right? I don't remember what exactly what he said. Me next, me next, me next. What's the next question? All right, I'll have you do the next. Watch that I could do the, this first question I gotta do. So when it comes to my life goals, obviously some of you know or some of you don't know, I'm an aspiring animator. I'm going into multimedia. I'm getting a four-year degree in multimedia slash digital technology and culture. Uh, personally, I'd like to be either a filmmaker, film producer, animator, music producer, something in that area. <laughs> In terms of, like, what Josh and Dan were talking about, I don't know if, how I feel about either traveling or not traveling. I have no strong opinions in that area. I would like to make a mark in the world, obviously. That's a personal thing I want to do. But I don't know whether traveling or sitting around like Josh would do would be something Oi! I want. <laughs> I'm not sitting around. What the fuck? So, it's kind of... It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's different from theirs. I'd like to make a mark in the world somehow. And I feel like I want to do it through my passion, through multimedia. But it doesn't have to be that. Or you could just shoot a press. I don't know. That, that would not seem like a <laughs> It's this man right here, FBI. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Run. The next question is, if YouTube and Twitch wasn't an option, 
what would you be doing right now? And Dan's not here, so I guess either you or me. You want to go first, Josh, so well, you can get over with? right now, I'd be doing college. Wow, that's very, like, detailed. Pretty much. <laughs> like, Literally. when it comes to engraving and stuff, if you didn't have YouTube oh, yeah. Twitch, what would you do in terms of engraving and your family and I'd stuff? I'd probably... And... Oh, fuck, family, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> no, I'd probably... <laughs> Try and get the name out there more for the engravings. Try and see if I can get more people who want to buy them or commissions and shit. That'd be cool as well. Mm. Yeah. Dan ain't still back, so I'm not sure that's the full answer. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I'm also studying uh, furniture, craft, and design and health and safety, so I can have a degree, you know, diploma in okay. having accidents. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, anyway, what was I saying about the, um, I mean, we furniture making, I could try and get something there. Alright. Probably so... lose a hand in the process. Obviously, there's something that, that's like new for me. Just... You want to tell them about the story about what happened to your finger? Right. So, um, in July. I was um, paddle boarding in a river. No, I was kayaking actually at that current minute. And I was trying to get out and I had my phone with me and it was in a waterproof case and it fell in the river. The waterproof case thing had a hole in it, which I wasn't really aware of at the time. And I was trying to uh, find it. And my hand caught on something in the river, and I severed half the end of my finger. Don't go into too much detail. I won't. I won't go too much in detail, but it was bloody. <laughs> um, I ended up getting fucking dopey as all hell from blood loss, of course. Someone did find the phone eventually, but it got destroyed by water damage, which sucks. But I had to go... Um, I had to paddle back on a paddleboard this time because I couldn't get back in the kayak because I was so out of it from all the blood loss. And I had to paddle back. I was bandaged up. I got home. I was chilling in a Discord call. I decided to take the bandage off and then it reopened and I had to be rushed to the A&E, well not A&E, uh, the walk-in centre to have it reattached and cleaned. Ugh. It wasn't fun. And, and then like... That, and then that was two, d two days before my motorcycle test thing, and I'm surprised I passed that with my hand. It literally bandaged up. Yeah, imagine uh, if you didn't pass. I would have been okay. distraught. Oh. Let's okay. pretend that never happened. <laughs> okay then. Um, and then like uh, a week ago, last Thursday, no, yeah, a week. Two Thursdays ago, I managed to just slip with a saw and just cut open half my thumb. You didn't need to go in that much detail. Yeah, sorry, but I, I, I'm clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you deny it a lot. I know I'm clumsy. I deny being an idiot. Alright, so since Dan isn't here to dug in, Wicker has not arrived, and I don't know if Dan's going to be back by the end of the podcast, I will answer this next question. If Twitch and YouTube weren't an option, what would I do? Yeah. Well, obviously, my Jack career... Jack shit. My career is still in film, animation, stuff like that. I wouldn't need YouTube to primarily be my platform. Obviously, it will be what I discovered. <clears throat> but, obviously, I could finish my degree in college for multimedia slash digital technology and culture. And then, maybe, hopefully have enough practice to get hired to, or at least the internship I get, if I get one, will excel me into a good field and work it out, you know, what I want to do with animation and have a future in that, which obviously is what's going to happen, or would be what happened. You get the idea. It It's going to happen regardless if I choose to do this field or not, because YouTube is part of the project, but it doesn't have to be there, but I choose to do it, if that makes sense. Now, do you want to ask any questions about that? <laughs> Since you're the one here. One day, will you be a... 
question. Would you aim to make live action movies at all? Well, fuck that. That's a good question. I'm not sure yet. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. a, future, that's a question for future me, not present me. Alright. So. Just, just the amount of surprise that I actually came up with a good question. <laughs> I mean, you came up with a question that future me would have answered. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, anything else? I don't know. Alright. Nope. So, uh, notification. <laughs> Why are you sending images? <laughs> you know they won't uh, see it, right? I know. So, the next, uh, one is, um, where would you be, where would you see yourself in the future? Do you want to go or should I go? There's in a ditch. What? What? I'll take that as you don't want to go first, so okay. In the future, yeah. well, obviously I described it in the last question, but the idea is somewhere <laughs> filming production, doing production either on YouTube, on some company, or whatever. The idea is I'd be doing either film production, animation, music production, something in that area, hopefully, in the future. If not, I mean, I will get a few minor degrees that will still give me a platform, but I'm still ho have priority to the multimedia stuff, so that's my response. Do you have anything, Josh? Um, on your thing or my thing? You can ask questions about mine or you can start with your future one. Right. Uh, no. No, it's Um. <laughs> Which question are we on again? <laughs> my god, where would you see yourself in the future? Oh yeah, there's an edge. That's all. Nothing about your engraving, nothing about your yeah. job, <laughs> your sticky image. Are um, you sure about that? Jesus fucking... No, wait, maybe. What? <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> okay, if I'm not dead in the ditch... In the future, what would be nice is to have it... This is just the same as the first question. Anyway, nice house, nice people around me. Making engravings, furniture, videos, whatever the fuck I can be bothered to make, or that comes to mind. Or learning new random things because I'm like, oh that looks cool, I want to try that. Okay, I now know this how to do this. This is not as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> All right. That's oh, basically so what I do. The difference is the life <laughs> goals one was supposed to be your actual goals, like where, how, what do you want to do with your engraving and stuff like that. Whereas this one would have been how you want to live your life and stuff. So it's complicated. If you understand future or goals and stuff, you would understand that more. But I'm not sure you do. I, I don't understand myself, so. All right. So. Pretty sure I already answered it, so. Since Doggy, Wicker, and Dan have not arrived, here's the next question. Do you personally, not someone else, know or at least learning how to get there as in, in terms of your goals and career and stuff? Do you, ha do you know what you're doing and how to get there to your end goal or, you know, can, learning? Can they there? have... Can we have someone who's not dyslexic write the questions in the future? <laughs> oh, wow. You, I, you can tell halfway through there that you didn't know what the fuck you wrote. <laughs> you just came up with that on the spot. <laughs> I mean, at least I summed it <laughs> well, Are you going to answer the question? <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Um, I think. Um, I know what I want, and I know how to get there, and I'm trying to do that. But him? there's a million and one things getting in the way. Not really. <laughs> so having a high schooler or a fucking middle schooler response. Wait, I'm possible. a college student. Yeah, in your country. Anyways, do I personally know? Well, I am getting the education. I don't personally know how to animate well, but I'm getting there. I'm learning from. What I, my practice from animation stuff was, as well as I'm getting I'm an education. Same, but it would work. I don't even know what you just said, Josh. I 
I said I'm doing the same, but with furniture design. <laughs> I don't think you want to do furniture design. No, no, God no, fuck no. <laughs> Is this how you want your chair to be? <sighs> no. Anyways, yeah, I'm obviously learning and practicing with a career and stuff, and going to develop my skills. I have practiced with music production, animation, video ed- Ow! That- You get that? Yeah, I bent my fingers backwards when- <laughs> I was like oh, making the po you know how like, you put one finger up and like you tap it with the other finger, I push it with you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. But, I mean, you guys get the idea. I've been practicing, preparing for it. I mean, I can't word it. Anyway, so. Do you have any questions on that, Josh? Nope. Oh my god. Partly Least because I don't doubt for half of that. Oh I I'm sorry. Next time I'll have Josh be, qu or, uh, have Josh be the host. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, uh oh. Have Josh be the host uh -oh. to answer his own questions. So anyways, I'm gonna <laughs> just move on to updates and stuff. So, first thing is, uh... Obviously, like I said in the intro, I'm working on Drogue Call Attack and going to prioritize the re remaster of part three? Yeah, three? On October 31st, Halloween. So stick around and you'll see it. And if you're unsubscribing because you want you haven't been able to see Drogue Call Attack in a while, I apologize. I am working on it. I am bringing the series back and I'm going to dedicate it to return. In addition, I believe Josh is going to keep working on his uh, Keep Talking Nobody's Plus series. In addition, we're bringing back Among yes. Us. Yes. In addition... Oh, fuck. Halloween content for this October, so... Stick around and you want to see some scary spooks. We may be returning to Gary's model for some more horror maps. Minecraft spooky. horror maps. Video chat horror maps. And a whole bunch of spookies. In addition... If you stick around through November and December, we, I'm going to try to get holiday themed stuff, videos, and content. So stick around for that. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a, leave it a like. Reply in the comments answering what your life goals are. I'd like to see your comments. That made no sense. I lost well, that made enough. sense, but it sounded Without right. sounding like a creepy person. <laughs> I'd like to see um, what your life goals are. If you're interested in type of putting that down, otherwise you can you can call Josh a femboy in the comments. In addition to that, oh fuck's sake, I'm not a femboy. Um, you can share this video, like Dance subscribe. It's entirely free, and you won't you can subscribe anytime you want. If you subscribe, you can turn on the notification bell and get notified when I release another podcast or more gaming content or when you draw kill attack. <gasps> Well, I mean, if you think about the history so far, it's true. I mean, we have six content creators. <laughs> Half of them are just... Don't do shit. I try. <laughs> I try. I try. Anyways. I will never be as good as make you. Make sure to check out the other content creators' platform, or uh, where they mainly go on in the description. Dan's on Twitch, Josh is on Twitch, Hidaki's on YouTube, Wicker's on Twitch, Bard is on Twitch. Check them all out in the description. You can give them a follow, a subscribe, a donation, throw whatever. A simp. What? Simp for them, I guess, according to Josh. Pretend they're belly no. scene or something like that. And then, yeah, I hope yeah, you will I saw my game of boy shell water. Yeah, that's I right. Th <laughs> Alright, so uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.